All right, one more. How about baseball? And again, thanks to Intertops, over 4,000 daily wagers, sign up, deposit, and win. Indians and Angels. It's Tomlin against Richards. Angels are $1.35, eight the total. They have they lost again last night. They've lost 12 in a row to the Indians. They have their number. And what do we do with Richards' opener, who was good for five innings into the fifth against the A's on the road? He was throwing 96 miles an hour. And then at a 4 nothing lead into the fifth, two outs, no one on. And then walk, walk, home run, home run. It became 4-4 four, four in a hurry. What do we do? I don't think we worry too much. And certainly the markets aren't worrying too much. Note the fact, as you mentioned, the Indians have won 12 in a row uh, against the Angels. And yet, here are the Angels favored and taking money, minus 135, uh, against the Tribe. So, clearly, the betting markets aren't too concerned about what happened at the end of Garrett Richards. And remember. You know, he's throwing 96 miles an hour. He's got a 4 nothing lead with two out and nobody on. And then, you know, he had that hiccup. Certainly a bad result for that ball game, but not something the markets are worried about a whole lot moving forward. You know, is it a stamina issue? Maybe. Or the other issue with Garrett Richards, he doesn't have a third pitch. So when you're talking about a guy that, you know, he talked about adding a curveball in the offseason. He didn't show it much in the opener. You need three pitches to get through the lineup three times. Richards doesn't really have that right now. And that means, or at least for the short term, probably five inning guy, not six, seven, eight, even though he has ace level stuff. Cozart and Simmons off to a good start as well up the middle. Cozart hitting 368, Simmons 438. And uh, the OPS is high as well. because That was a big key why some people liked them like we did over their win total this year. As they're off to a, those two are off to a good start as well. Now you have Tomlin, and who gets the ball for the Indians. And if he can maintain his second half flow of 2017, you put up this graphic: pre-break, five and nine with a 5.90 ERA. Post-break, five and zero with a 3.19 ERA. But do you want to pitch to contact? I don't know if that's going to work because the Cleveland defense is so bad. It's got to improve. Last year, Park adjusted defensive efficiency, 27th, and Babbitt was 24th. So that's a big problem. So how are you looking at this? Is it the Tomlin from post-All-Star break or the pre-All-Star break? Well, again, you know, when you look at the mainstream numbers on Tomlin, they look pretty good over the second half last year. Is he a pitcher that I trust to maintain that? Absolutely not. And you talked about Cleveland's defense. Cleveland's defense is an issue, and it will continue to be an issue. The park-adjusted defense efficiency, bad. The batting average on balls in play, bad. And it's not like the Tribe have come out of the gate cranking offensively either. What have they done so far? They're hitting 234 as a team, 701 OPS. Cleveland's a dog here for a reason. If I'm playing, I'm laying. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on. Please make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.